There we go. Yes, on YouTube. Yes. <laughs> Thanks for the haircut. Thank you very much. I appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Catch you guys later. Ah, Scott Brown here. Today is a very exciting episode. Very exciting episode. It's only a couple of times per year that Gaston from Piranha Tools comes to town. It's not my van, is it? Oh my god, it is. about. It's only a couple of times a year that Gaston comes to Auckland and this is one of those times. Well welcome back to the show Gaston. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go again. Oh, it's always so. a beautiful sight. Uh, these yeah. are some of the new axes from uh, Holtaforce, the oldest um, axe maker factory in Sweden. This one here, the, probably one of my favorite. Mm. The name of this one is Ragnar, we call it like oh <laughs> no, that. Uh, um, well, if you watch the uh, Viking series, I you love know it. who I love Ragnar is. Anyway, <laughs> so this is, uh, uh, these days is uh, um, a throwing axe for a throwing competition. It's like having two axes in one, so one was for one, sharpening one particular way and the other side on a different way or when this side was getting blunt, then you can carry on using the other. Sure. So, um, it's, a, it's, it's, it's a beautiful axis. It's a thing of beauty. Maybe. So in war, if one side didn't chop off the head, you'd use the other side. <laughs> Pretty much, <laughs> yeah. This is from um, the, uh, Finland, so the Lapland region, uh, yep. the Sami communities These are made by hand. That's a stainless steel hunting knife with uh, birch wood Dang, with a reindeer antler in the handle. And that's reindeer, reindeer yeah. skin, uh, leather skin as well. This is handmade, moose bone, that's birch handle, and the head is made of um, stainless steel. For making chamfers, yeah, um, very popular already in Germany and Australia in the U.S. Yeah, but we we sold a lot of them in New Zealand, and it's made here. And this is a new release. That's a block plane. We call it the pocket plane. It's uh, easy to set up. It's not for fine woodworking. It's a uh, it's a pro it's a block plane just for removing bit pieces of wood and just make your progress quite fast. Quite handy for a builder as well. That's actually a concrete nail. What? But because the concrete now got uh, got that the shape, lines. it holds actually the the blade and the and the cap iron way better. What? That's so crazy. Philip Philip found that uh, um, some time ago, and that's uh, it makes a huge difference. So this is uh, uses the uh, ink that we normally sell for the ink lines. Yeah. Um, and then you have five options. You can um, choose to mark a dot every 100, 150, yeah. 200, 250 and 300 mils. Then let's say I choose 150 and then put the thumb on the edge of the board and then you push forward and then the, the wheel moves the belt, goes through the ink. So you get one dot every 150 mils. We like to name things. So this one is called yeah. um, Buck Rogers. Um, <laughs> for, and wow. this one is the uh, Galactica edition. Uh, <laughs> it's also from my time, uh, Galactica. And um, people love that. Um, and that's a hiding pin. So because it's self-winding, if that comes off, you don't stab your um, your eye. That's pretty good. Um, so that's a tough line. And this one, the, the back rogers, it's um, very, very thin. So this is what they use mainly in Japan, but now in New Zealand um, for striking lines. Where does um, the ink go? Where do you put the, the ink? The ink goes in here. So it just got the sponges there. Just put ink, a little yeah. bit of ink, not so a huge amount. Yep. 
yeah. from the bottle. So you just got the, these little bottles. Yeah. They come in different colors. And some people use white for uh, marking lines on jet. Oh, so yeah. it stands out really well, but doesn't bleed through the paint. Like a toy. Just lock it there, and then it's just ready to go. So you put that down, you put that in your piece of wood. Mm -hmm. You are and then you run your skills all like that. Always on 90 degrees. Complete. Perfect. Perfect. We got the fence, it's just already 90 degrees. Um, we got a flexible stainless steel part there that, with a piece of rubber on the back. So when you push this down, it doesn't uh, move Super sideways. Uh, then you can buy the slider. So yeah. you fit this on your skill saw. You can adjust this. Yeah. Okay. Sacrificial piece of wood. Oh. Oh yeah. Damn. So when you, you <laughs> cut this, you can make it longer. You cut that, and then if I got my piece of um, board with the line already drawn, yeah. you just put that matching that, and you know that where the blade is gonna cut. This one here is very similar, but I can go. Oh, you got like 45. That's your pivot. So you can pull, go from 45 all the way to 90. Black cutter. That's the biggest black cutter we bring from Germany, 60 mils. Look at that! So we have a force pit on 60 mils for making holes, 60 mil holes. And How then, often do you need to plug that bag? Uh, it's just uh, mainly for um, getting rid of knots, uh, defects oh, yeah. on the timber. If you got a really nice piece of timber, you don't want to, you know. Yeah. You should buy away. that for your plumber, mate, bro. It's so actually if he makes a wrong hole. <laughs> Uh, 300, oh, 270s. Um, Have you been selling them? Yes, yes, that's <laughs> been amazing. Same with it was with the mask. Thank you very much, people, for waiting. Another tool that actually is very popular so far in joiners and uh, with builders. Yeah. So sliding bevel. You yeah, have all the beautiful. angles. Yeah. So you can lock it anywhere you like. Yeah. You can go under as well. Just put it against the edge, and you can actually run your skills as well. You want to see the biggest folding saw in the world? Yes, of course. Sure. The biggest folding saw in the world. Actually, they produce the, the one meter version, but it's too heavy. I don't think it's going to be very popular. So let's stick on to this one. This is a yeah. Katana Boy made by Silky. 650 mils blade. <laughs> biggest folding saw. What? Um, what is this for? Is this pruning? <laughs> a show off. <laughs> Just when you can't reach it. Oh, oh lord. So that's uh, you that's can, the thumbnail. You can go to your neighbor and if you don't like, you can at night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop. But yeah, and so then you just push this, goes down and stop. Okay. It doesn't stop, I will chop my fingers ah. off. Like it. And then lock it. Especially if you have kids around. How do you feel about being part of the production crew here, Cameron? <laughs> Perfect. Oh. <laughs> it's the wind. Oh, the wind. <laughs> the wind keeps hitting the microphone. Oh, this is a new, oh, from Pika. So Pika, you know, the Pika pencils that we bring from Germany. Yeah. Now they, they, they have the master sets. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, this is a permanent marker. Uh, it's a new, a new one called Visor. Uh, is that crayon? It's like a crayon, but it's permanent. Oh, so, okay. and they mark on many different surfaces. This is like a Sharpie but white. Yeah. So now they come in a set and you can get three different options. This is a rookie. Yeah. So a rookie comes with a blunt, blunt point. So it's for kids. True. It's really sharp, but it's for kids. So it needs to be used, you know, the kid needs to be supervised by the parents. Yeah, 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 yeah. But they are not going to stab their sister or brother. Yeah. You know? So that's the main thing. So that's really good. Wellington. Yeah. He's a friend now as well, Andy, Andy Lewis. I saw him uh, two days ago and he gave me this little um, wee present. These are zip pullers. They attach to your zip and then you can pull your zip. <laughs> but each of them got tools. So you got, you got a wrench, you got a screw with a, with a nut, you got a handsaw. Oh my God. You can put it here on the, on the you know, the <laughs> Let me grab my tool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and so they come in different colors. So Engelbert Strauss sell, sells them in, uh, on the we their website and they, you can get them on any different colors. People are going nuts on this. So he gave me the whole set that comes in a little bag. I love it, I love it. But yeah, man, that's... Um, mm. That's a lot of tools. It is a lot. A lot of awesome tools.
Awesome. Great response to the videos. Uh, the video you made was yeah. just amazing. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm completely honest, uh, especially the hand source and yeah. the dust mask. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, that's amazing. what people ask me about the most. Amazing. These masks. Yeah. Yeah. These are the most requested. This is where I get the RZ masks. Come on, Gaston. <laughs> Farewell to the glorious van. Thank you, thank you. How about again? Uh, great Bye -bye. to see you. Thank you very much. Great as always. Bye, buddy. Um, have a good one, and um, yeah, we'll see you maybe in um, August. I'll put all the links below, obviously, if you want to go and buy any of those tools that you saw. And just shout out to him. Go on Instagram and say, hey, guest on. Um, I saw you on the video, and I'm sure he'll appreciate it. Alright, I'll see you in the next exciting episode.